Hey everybody, and welcome back to Easy Cooking with Gary. Hope y'all doing okay today. Tonight I'm just throwing something together for supper, and I just thought I'd pop in and make a little video of it. And I call it my cheesy meatball sub casserole. It's got Texas toast, it's got Italian style meatballs, it's already fully cooked, and it has cheese. And what I did already, I took a can of my pasta sauce here, and uh, I got it in a pot over here, and to it I added about 20 of these frozen meatballs, and also I added some more Italian seasoning, and I put some of my house seasoning in, my uh, GSP, uh, salt, pepper, and garlic, and everything, so I took some Texas toast, and I've already got it cooked, and I put it in a baking dish. One good thing about this recipe, you can Taylor, make it to any size you want. I'm just making it tonight, just for me and my wife tonight. So I've got four pieces of uh, garlic Texas toast that I've already browned in the oven. Now, <clears throat> I've got some mozzarella cheese. And I'll put, some, put a little mozzarella cheese on top of this. I sprayed this baking dish before I put the Texas toast in there. So, now, now I'm gonna come over here and take some of these meatballs that's already been cooking. You can see they all, they uh, got a little bit bigger than what they was frozen, so. And they do make mini meatballs if you want them. So now I'm just gonna layer this on top of it. Uh-oh, there goes one. I would give that to a dog, but I don't have one. Okay. okay. Now, put some more cheese over top of this. And it's going into a 375 degree oven just until the cheese melts. Okay. Look at this right here. It's been in there about 10 minutes. It's going to be hot. That is some good stuff right there. Well, it's just something I threw together today, so I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you liked the video, please hit a thumbs up on it and subscribe to the channel if you hadn't. So we hope y'all have a good day, and we'll talk to y'all and see you later on the next one. Bye.